Hey guys, I got another $25 in pennies that I'm hunt uh, hunting. Um, I got these at a bank um, where I got nearly a box of nickels and I hunted those. These are pretty much pretty straightforward. Um, there's nothing real strange about them. The only mark that's on them is this. Some of these rolls have these, but it's only like two or three of them and it looks like something is just crossed out. Nothing really strange about any of these. So I'm gonna get started right here and I'll bring you in if and when I get a find. All right, I got my first four in. It's right here. 1977 Canadian penny, kind of grody. I don't see anything else, so keep going. All right, um, I'm in my 10th roll and I actually got a weedy. I saw by the date, uh, 1956 Denver, in actually pretty good condition, so hopefully we can maybe pick up the pace a little bit. We got 40 rolls left. Well, I'm in this roll. I see another weedy. Another 57, actually 56. Or, no, this is a 57. We had a 56. All right, we'll keep going. Well, this one was sitting like this, so I saw it by the date. 1953 out of Philly. All right, we got about 15 rolls left. Hopefully we can pick up it a little bit. All right, I looked down and I just saw the edge of some weed ears right there. 1946 Denver. All right, there's our first in the 40s. We'll keep going. All right, I just decided to go through the rest of the rolls. Um, and I got two more. I got another 58. Well, I got, a, I got a 58D. And I got a 50, another 56D. All right, I'll give you guys a quick wrap up. All right, I got a few more Canadian pennies that I forgot to film. I'm going to show them now. I'm not going to show them in the wrap up. But I did get two young heads, actually. I got a 62. There you go, 62, and I got a 59. Um, it's really cool, I've been finding them in the 50s lately. I think I have that one, but I'll, I'll have to check. And then I got a 2007, I got a 2005 that's really strangely colored on the back. I gotta check a lot of these new ones because I know I need some of them. I also know that uh, the 2006 Canadian Penny has a variety. Um, one of which is quite rare, so I gotta check and see. I gotta uh, refresh my mind to see which ones are the rare ones and which ones are the common ones. So I'll set that aside and I'll check and I'll update you guys if it's some anything cool. Um, I got an 04, um, and then in 2000, which is really beat up. Um, I've never, I'm, I'm almost never seen one that beat up. And then we got a couple of copper, other copper ones here. Um, we also, of course, got the two that I did show you. Um, in the beginning, we got an 84. I'm pretty sure that's copper. And then a 74. So quite a few Canadian pennies. Um, I'll just kind of go over everything else. Unfortunately, we didn't get a lot of wheat pennies. We got a lot of Canadian pennies, but not so many wheat pennies. Um, if you count these, I guess these are kind of like Canadian wheat pennies in a way, but we only got six wheat pennies. Um, although we did get, we got a 46D, a 53 Philly, a 57 Denver, 56 Denver, um, this should be in order, but another 56 Denver and a 58 Denver. All actually in relatively good condition, which is nice. Um, it's kind of more quality over quantity in terms of condition. But again, we got all these other ones. Um, we got a few 59s. Uh, we actually got two dimes in the rolls. I get a lot of those when looking through customer apps. 174S, I would like to pull those out, I don't see them. Also kind of this one, I don't think I'd be able to get back in the roll, it's absolutely destroyed. Um, I have a jar that I keep destroyed coins in, so this will go in there. I'm um, just kind of, as a funny little joke I guess. Um, two 72s, and what I'm doing is I'm saving all the 72 Philadelphias to set aside, and I'm going to do a, a really big DDO hunt um, once I, I've gathered a lot of them. I also got this 99D that has quite an off-center towards the bottom right, so that was kind of cool. And a 1960 Denver small date, which I don't see too often, so I set that aside as well. Alright, um, and then here's the copper. I have not... I don't know how exactly how many, but it's got to be around 250 to 300, um, if I had to guess. So all of those are... Uh, copper 1960 to 1982 the 82s I do check to make sure they are copper because eventually I do plan on selling most of these um, and I don't want to you know 
accidentally give someone an 82 penny that's not copper. So we did get those. We got the Canadians, the wheat pennies. It was still a decent hunt, uh, despite not getting a ton. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it anyway, and I'll catch you in the next one. Alright guys, we're going to do another penny hunt. Now, this is another combination box. Um, I got this when I was going to banks, and I actually got quite a lot of coins in an area that I didn't typically get too much in in the past. But when I did that hunt, which I actually have a little bit of footage from doing the bank hunt, um, I did get these. I got $10 in Loomis rolls. Uh, they're all from the same bank. They are all circulated, as you can see. I didn't see any enders on those. Uh, well, I know there's no enders on those. Um, and then 30 rolls that are customer wrapped. So these I got at the same bank. Like around a little more than half of these are from another bank, and then some other ones in here are from another bank as well. So there's probably around two or three different banks represented here. I'm actually going to get started on the customer wrapped, and I'll bring you guys in on my first find. Alright, well, I'm on the fourth roll, and I have the third roll, and I got my first Weedy. It's right here. It's actually in pretty good shape. 1953 Denver. Alright. Let's keep going. Also, I'm really hoping to get something old in this box because we have had decent hunts, but we haven't had a lot of old coins. So it'd be awesome if we could get something old. Well, I went through the rest of those rolls. Um, actually, um, I went through all the rest of the customer apps and there was nothing. The rest of those 30 rolls had absolutely nothing in them. Um, the machine app rolls did put up a decent fight, although it's not the best considering uh, the, once again, the machine wrap rolls, and also my average is typically better than that. So unfortunately, we only got four wheat pennies, but we did get a 53, that 53D that I showed you, and then some other ones, 51D, 58P, and a 46S, kind of worn from the back. And then we have a few ones in decent shape, 70S, um... We got a 62, 81, 71, and 64. Uh, three Canadian pennies. There was that, uh, there was an ender. I think this one was the ender. It has a little bit of corrosion. Uh, all three, I think, are copper. I guess we'll get a uh, 2009 in decent shape. Not the best, but it's decent. 159. And two 74Ss. This one actually in really good shape. I'll check that against my book. And uh, also, we didn't get a ton of copper either. Um, it didn't fill the box up a ton, so not the best. I did also get a couple slightly toned coins. Um, you can kind of see them if you reflect them. There's a 78 and an 84. So not the best, but you got to take hunts like that to get to the good ones. So I hope you guys enjoyed this hunt anyway. Um, I'll probably tack this on to another penny hunt, or this hunt might be tacked on to a previous hunt. I'm not totally sure yet, but this hunt, uh, because it wasn't didn't do the best, and I did another penny hunt recently that also didn't do the best, so I'll probably just tack it on, and I have some more pennies that I need to hunt coming up, so this will be this video. I'll see you guys in the next clip, um, which will either um, be in the next video or play right now.